Lots of people swear by the product sold at Trader Joe's. But now Trader Joe's says one guy has gone too far by reselling its products. He's a self-proclaimed Pirate Joe. And now the chain store is trying to get him to walk the plank. ABC's Rena Nyman is here to explain what has them so upset. Good well, morning. good morning, mates. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Good morning. This pirate says he opened up the company in response to market conditions, filling a void for his fellow Canadians. Most of these things you can't get in Canada. Michael Halad is a self-described pirate, but this buccaneer isn't trafficking in jewels or buried treasure. Halat is venturing across international borders to plunder cookie butter. We haven't got a straight answer out of anybody as to what they do with it, mostly maybe just a spoon in the jar. Halat owns Pirate Joe's, a small store in Vancouver, British Columbia, dedicated to providing his loyal customers with unauthorized artisan groceries from the massively popular American chain, Trader Joe's. We just think in Canada that we're entitled to the same, uh, the same access that uh, you are, so we're, we're providing it. No Trader Joe's stores in Canada, so Halad and his team drive nearly 80 miles across the Canadian border to Washington State so he can offer these delectable treasures to deprived Canadians. Halad insists he's obeying all customs laws. We import it legally. But when this pirate resells the goods, Trader Joe's says he's in the wrong. So they're suing to stop his operation, it says, is a result of trademark infringement, false endorsement, and false advertising. The first thing I did is I took the P down on our styrofoam sign. So we're now known as Irate Joe's. Um, and that's just really uh, pointing out how ridiculous the lawsuit is. And he says Trader Joe's is trying not to sell to him. I have people shopping for me, my photos at every manager's desk. Trader Joe's says it's not commenting on the lawsuit. As for our swashbuckling Canadian entrepreneur, he says he'd leave it all behind if the real Trader Joe's would just open up a shop on his side of the border. I'd prefer if they just opened uh, in Vancouver. I've got a great location for him. And if that ever happens, Halat says he has his eyes set on another business endeavor, a knockoff McDonald's that serves only grass-fed beef. That's right, Rip Donald's for Canadians. <laughs> and I, I want you guys to know I bought this as a prop, the, the uh, cookie butter. And I just want to know who ate half the jar. Dan, Dan, yeah, yes. Dan defend yourself. No, no, look, I would think that this guy's got to be one of Trader Joe's best customers, right? And, and a lot He's of Canadians. He's buying tons of stuff, right? And then bringing it over the border. Bringing it over the border, doing the stuff that nobody else wants to do. And, and it, the Canadians that we spoke to were really upset about this it. This is a coming to America moment. What was that, McDowell's and McDonald's? You remember yes, that yes, fiasco yes, there? Yes. That's what I'm thinking yeah. of. And in the end, we'll just blame Canada, right? <laughs> there you go. It's always Canada's fault. I rate Joe's. <laughs> All right, rate it. Thank you. Good.